is the 1st of February and it's been six days since I arrived back from Qatar and I'm <laughs> traveling again. I think this uh, phrase of me saying traveling again is kind of like my staple in vocabulary that I use because I really travel a lot. And this time I'm going to Milan to the photo session with a, a friend of mine, uh, Christina. She's also a model. And uh, we will go check in our bags. Yeah, behind we have bags because we have dresses and stuff, you know, for the photo session. And then we'll go and fly to Milan. Luckily, um, this is direct flight and also very short. Not very short, but relatively short comparing to the one that I recently took. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited and I hope the weather will be nicer. I looked the weather forecast, it's supposed to be like plus 8 or plus 7, even though it's raining, but look at the back. We have heaps of snow. We arrived in Milano and we have been here for like 2 hours maybe and we already have an amazing Italian cappuccino. Um, and now we are going to have our dinner in place uh, which is actually fully vegan because my friend Christina, she's also vegetarian and it's called... how is it called? It's called Radzi Citonda and uh, it is located in the area close to the city center Metro station is Porto Venezia yes. So let's go, let's eat! <laughs> this, is, this is my vegan report for Milano and I'm sure that in this trip I will do a lot of reports about vegan food because Italians, they know a lot about vegan food and it's very common to find here. Ooh. So let's go! <coughs> oh, it's even vegan! Yay! <laughs> it looks very rustic in a way, but uh, maybe not inside because inside looks kind of nice. like meatballs made out of vegetables um, yeah they're made out of vegetables and chickpeas um, and also I have uh, I think it was tartar and hummus as sauces and my friend Christina is having uh, puree soup which looks like smoothie <laughs> yeah and breadcrumbs yeah uh, and um, let, let's do a test. Yeah. Wait, um, so have a nice meal for us. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is steamed. I like that it's healthy. I mean, it's not covered in oil or anything, it's just steamed pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Let's try it with hummus. <laughs> this hummus is made of like sauce. It's a little bit more liquid than usual one. Mm. I need to try it just with that pumpkin. It is hummus. I know hummus is hummus everywhere. Yeah, it tastes good. And then this meatball. Mm. I like it because it looks dry on the outside, but it's not dry on the inside. And uh, we came to Piazza Piazza Domo, <laughs> and of course, magnificent Milano di Domo is behind my back. Uh, actually, you know. The last time when I came here I didn't like it because it was super crowded and all the beggars were here and yeah, just strange atmosphere but now it's almost empty and the previous time when me and Nasty and my sister were there we were sitting in that cafeteria in this arch and we were having the very first coffee in Italy but today we already have like a couple Morning and we're having to 
typical Italian breakfast, which has a lot of pastries, those cute little things, for example. I don't usually eat pastries, but you know, when you're in Italy, you just eat them. Also, I'm having fresh um, orange juice, and of course, my like granola thing with banana and nuts and soy milk. It is raining outside, and I didn't think it will. I hope it will not, but um, what to do? It's winter. So, today our plan is to go to uh, Florence, right? We made it to the train and we're going to Florence. Yeah. Uh, it was raining in Bologna. Hopefully, it will not be raining in Florence. And uh, we have uh, Italian coffee. And maybe some of you remember, but in the past, I used to refuse drinking coffee or I would drink very little amounts. But now I drink it a lot, like three or four <laughs> cups a day. And in Italy, coffee is so great that you just cannot um, skip it. Even on the train station we bought it and it's amazing, so coffee everywhere here is very good. I remember the last time when I came with my sister Nastya to Turin to visit my friends, um, I was drinking um, coffee like six times a day. Is it bad to be coffee addict? in front of the Santa Maria Novella uh, Cathedral. Uh, it's right in the city center and uh, it stopped raining so we are lucky and we can walk around without carrying umbrella in one hand and then carrying all the stuff in another. And it's actually very warm but crowded. I have noticed many, I think Koreans or Asians, but I think Florence is such a unique place and such famous place that uh, people from all over the world come here. Posing, you know, like this and like that and then like this and here I see my chopped nail <laughs> which needs repairment, obviously. Right after I go back home from Italy, I'm gonna go and do my nails. coffee and take pictures. <laughs> we came now to have lunch to one place which is called I will even check because I think it has very nice atmosphere. Let me have a look. Dita Artigianale, if I pronounce it correctly. And uh, for lunch I'm having avocado toast with uh, hummus which is gluten free. Uh, we cannot go up because it's uh, raining and it's windy and it's cold and getting dark but even looking from the bottom it's very beautiful this is already the second morning of our presence in italy and guess what we yesterday suffered from the heavy rain all day long not that we suffered, but it is so unusual for Italy. And today we wake up and uh, we look in the window and... Ta-da! <laughs> there is snow! Can you imagine? It is snowing in Italy! How is this possible? Our trip is coming to an end. We already actually arrived to the hotel near the airport. And today it was so bad because I was not filming. Because in the morning it was snowing, so the whole mood yeah, went exactly. kind of down. See? Yeah, and so, but we were having fun um, shooting some videos of the catwalk and also we did a little photo session. Well, mostly Christina because I was feeling very bad because of my pain in the neck and my head. <sighs> but now we are going out uh, to Milan and tomorrow we fly home. <laughs> but we will be back. Yes, da? for sure.
So it is late night and uh, we came to Milano to have a drink but it will be a very short one and we are having very unusual drink for Saturday night because Christina is gonna have a hot chocolate and I'm gonna have warm tomato juice and for the waiter it was so strange that I requested warm tomato juice because I feel a little bit sore uh, throat and I don't want to get ill so I asked uh, to heat it up and then we will uh, run back and uh, go to the hotel and then we will fly tomorrow in the morning at first Look at this huge glass, it's called medium, so I cannot imagine what is huge, or I mean large. <laughs> also, it is like warm tomato soup, I'm not kidding, it is very warm. And um, they have brought lemon, and also salt, and also pepper, so I don't really need to eat. <laughs> it's so funny, yes. Be careful, it's very hot. Especially on the bottom, it's hot. Look at this. Size of my head, even bigger. Go Estonia! Little bit of story. How old is this cafeteria? Do you know? Uh, the can I suppose. Uh, 24. No. Ah, the... the, the 2005. Uh, 20 years. 20 years? Yes. And they serve hot tomato juice, which is amazing. You serve hot tomato juice. Okay, okay. Such a place. But they also have a lot of desserts. Pistachio. 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 This is pistachio. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Very nice pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> Catwalk from Natalie. So now model, model, model. Yes, better. Yes, like that. <laughs> bye bye Milano. We have to leave. Bye bye Milano. Bye. We will miss you. <laughs> My beloved Milano. We will come back. For sure. Very soon. For sure. <laughs> Very soon we will come back. Yes. And the moon. We'll have our flight very soon. We are fresh and eating breakfast. Packing! Christina is having a nostalgic moment listening to Lasciata Mi Cantare. The last morning we were blessed with summer. Summer, uh huh. We were blessed with sun, I meant, because the rest of the days were rainy. Look at the sunrise. And there are bamboo trees behind. Too cold for bamboo trees though, yet. But soon enough it will be very warm. Let's <laughs> go.